Welcome back to Andrew Says, coming at you straight from the Arctic Circle. Remember Tom Arnold? He went from being a wacky, paranoid, zany, on-screen character in lots of movies to a wacky, zany, paranoid, off-screen character in real life, and it's finally caught up to him, I think, um, if anything can at this point. If you're, not, if you're not old enough to remember, believe it or not, he used to be in a lot of movies. Even though I'm only 18 years old, I still remember his movies. Austin Powers, he was in. Uh, True Lies with Tom Arnold, oh, no, Tom Arnold with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I love that movie. Uh, he had a popular politically incorrect sports show called The Best Damn Sports Show, period. And of course, above all else, he was married to the beloved Roseanne. Pre-band Roseanne, of course. This was 90s Roseanne with her hit show. It was a hit show again, but, uh, you know, she made some mistakes, they say. Earlier this week, Tom Arnold made an outrageous claim about one American News reporter, Jack Posobiec. Now, here's Jack promoting his comic that he's got, and just to be fair, I do think it's kind of silly. However, I wouldn't mind a comic of my own. Uh, the point is, I'm just trying to be fair, and I don't have a dog in this fight. Um, Posobiec, to me, is like a different version of Mike Cernovich. People love to hate him. Um, sometimes they use tactics that I don't approve of, but he does... Great reporting, and more often than not, is correct, and I find him more reliable than most of mainstream media sources that I see. So Tom Arnold says this. If Jack Pasochiek, that's a spelling mistake on Tom's part, if he's involved, I assume it's kitty porn, so do not buy, tweeted Arnold. Sounds like a setup. Pasochiek is a well-known... Is, is a well known to everyone around him as being a digital bully of sexual assault survivors and an amoral cowardly narc. Now, I follow Jack. I've never seen him bully any victims, and I don't know how you can simultaneously be a narc and bully victims of crimes. That seems a little uh, neurotic to me, which is a theme you'll probably be seeing. As well as the fact that he is a former Navy intelligence officer who was deployed to Guantanamo Bay, I think some credibility and respect is given due to that now i've checked out um if you don't know who jack posobiec is and you want to check out his wikipedia i would suggest not doing that because it's pretty stupid and if you look i promise you it's completely garbage again i'm not saying that i love jack but saying he's a quote alt-right internet troll and conspiracy theorist who spreads fake news is an utter and complete lie and i wouldn't say that um about anderson cooper in, except for the whole Russian conspiracy thing. So maybe i got to put my foot in my mouth a little bit there. But uh, I wouldn't say pretty much anyone is an alt-right uh, internet troll because they barely exist, if at all. So it's ridiculous. Tom Arnold might just need help. That might be what it is. It might be OCD or clinical neuroticism. But here's some more examples of what Tom, Cr uh, Tom Cruise, I almost said. <laughs> Can't believe I almost said that. There's more examples of Tom Arnold's that what he says is at the very least lying. Sometimes they're dangerous, like this, calling Jack Posobiec a pedophile. So if you're not familiar with Tom Arnold, if maybe you think he's been on to something before with Trump and you've heard what he says and you don't really think you're, you're on the fence about whether or not he's telling the truth, here are some examples of him uh, not coming across the best, let's say. These, um, a couple of these are linked from the same Summit News article I was reading the previous thing off of. Trump was a primary factor in ending his relationship, according to do divorce documents filed by Ashley Grusman Arnold. Quote, Tom's fixation on taking down Donald Trump was an ongoing issue in our marriage, said his wife, adding, for the past two years it has consumed his life and presented numerous safety issues for our family. She also accused the actor of, quote, abuse of prescription drugs, namely fentermine and fenfluramine, don't know what they are. They sound like pool additives. <laughs> His estranged wife also claims that Arnold lied when he told the Secret Service he didn't have any guns in the home after agents visited him to investigate threats against Trump. Now, I'm not going to claim that the stuff, the latter stuff in there is true because that is hearsay and I'm not Tom Arnold. I don't know if it's true. People say mean things when they break up. Uh, so who knows? And in terms of investigations from the Secret Service for threats, they investigate everyone who says anything threatening about the president or in government uh, just as a precaution. They did it to Eminem because of his music. If you recall, and I do, if you recall, though, uh, that 
Tom Arnold was on the Michael Knowles show claiming that he had uh, access to the Trump P tapes, the famous famous Russian P tapes, where he pees on prostitutes in a hotel room. Um, he also said that Trump was a Russian asset. He said that the Russians fixed the election for Trump. He said all this on Michael Knowles um, just over a year ago, and he even made his own show. The premise of his show was getting these tapes. Take a look. This is actually getting to the central point of your TV show and my criticism of the premise well, here's of the, the TV show. Here's the this is the point. central point. Here's don't the central point. I don't trust him negotiating anything for us. I think that Donald Trump is a Russian asset. I don't think he knows it. What's your evidence of this? I don't think he knows it. What's your evidence? He is in love with Putin. He has. He has. Uh, Putin does have something on him. What is he your evidence know that, of that? Well, he time. won't let us investigate. He won't let us follow through. They meddled in our election. He's done everything. How did they meddle in the election? They spent a hundred thousand dollars on Facebook ads. Do you one not listen company. to our own intelligence? What, what intelligence Run, are you referring to? Because I'm citing the hundred thousand dollars. Okay, of Facebook I, you ads. aren't privy to it because it's the NSA, the CIA, and the FBI. They've shared all that with. But Donald how did Trump. they meddle specifically? Because it's easy to well, use. Well, these I'd, big I'd love to tell you, except I'm not privy to it either. Well, I can tell you exactly. They are hundred percent certainty. I, I can have shared that with the people I, that don't. I, I can tell you how the Russians meddled in the election. And by the way, I they they fixed the election for Donald Tom, Trump. Can, it's not like they just spent a hundred thousand dollars. They fixed. How he did is they a, fix the he's election? an illegitimate president, and he knows it, and that's why he's fighting this. He, does, he is not the president. He doesn't deserve to be the president. Tom, it's, I, in, uh, Tom, he is not the president. He's an illegitimate president. I know. Everything he accused Barack Obama of, that's him. He's not the president. Surprise update for everybody. He didn't actually come up with anything. Here he is pushing the same bit about uh, two to three months later uh, with Ben Shapiro making claims about Brett Kavanaugh. On, a, on an election special, and he makes a familiar claim, like the one he did to Jack Posobiec. Yep. A little bit earlier this week, alcoholism stunts your emotional growth, so if you start drinking alcoholically as a teenager, you stay a teenager emotionally until you deal with it. Explains a lot about Brett Kavanaugh from his combative behavior yesterday to his unusual bond with teenage girls' basketball teams. He's a 12-year federal judge. Yep. You are a human being who is it's Tom a, Arnold. Yeah, I'm an How alcoholic, too. I'm an alcoholic, recovering alcoholic. And, uh, you know, I, 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 it was more about the way he, he conducted himself. I think, I think that something that gets lost in this, uh, there's a, a young woman that he referenced in his yearbook named Renata uh, Schroeder, and, and he referenced her at yeah. the, the alumni club, and he referenced her, and, and she came forward, and, and all, he and his buddies all said they had sex with her. That was the, the Renata Alumni Club, and it's in his yearbook, and they all said they had sex with her, and he chanted stuff about her, and, and that's a, kind of a young guy. You, I don't know if you were in a fraternity, but that's a, what young guys do. I know, I know. That's why, that, that's <laughs> Look why at me, I'm dude. Here. Look at Listen, me. I mean, come on. You're genuinely a good, nice young man. You genuinely well, are. I appreciate it. Thank and, you. I, and, and that's why I'm here. But I, I, I went to the University of Iowa. I, all my roommates were in fraternities. That's what. That's the, the sexual politics okay, but, of that. No, but understand this. Does that, that mean you sexually assaulted somebody? That's it. No, no, no. I, I didn't say that. But there's an immaturity, and, and they go around and they say that. Well, we all had sex with her. I mean, we should, but, but think about this. I mean, I that's why you kind of call them a child molester. No, 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 I did not kind of. Somebody, no. And nothing, of course. Now, I don't care how he appears or if he's weird. I don't care about his mental state, anything like that. But he makes these claims and he makes them with certainty. And there's nothing he can, and he says nothing that backs them up. And what I conclude from this is that Tom Arnold, Tom Arnold is a product of the media. Um, I believe that much to be true. I believe that of AOC as well, and obviously she, she does so in a more calm fashion, but she's the product of listening to government officials and news media and believing that they could not be telling any lies or any misleading information and that there is absolutely no bias, and you just take it and it's like, oh, of course, um, those people are evil. Yes, I agree. Uh, the, nobody in the government would have any reason to mislead me. Nobody in the news media would have any reason to... Um, obscure the facts at all or present any bias. Now, I don't think people believe Tom Arnold per se. I think he's an extreme example, but there are a lot of people that do believe the media 100%. Like I said, AOC is one, especially young people. She may seem like she's 19 years old, but she's actually in her 30s. She's a rich girl, and she, and she still believes all this stuff because uh, I, I don't know why. I'm not going to attempt to say why. She's, she's surrounded by her privilege, as Justin Trudeau would say. She's blinded by several layers of privilege. Let's go with, go with that. But especially young people believe these things, and vulnerable, vulnerable people like Tom Arnold. 
I don't think he's a bad person. I don't think believing these things makes you a bad person. I think the people in the media, though, are willing members of this, uh, I have the moral high ground and I can do anything psyche, because of all the information they perceive to be true. And it happens in regular civilians, too. All this information they perceive to be true gives them the idea that they're the victims or that they have the moral high ground to tell who and whatever whatever they think is correct and incorrect. So they get to decide what's true and what's not true because they have the knowledge. They're the righteous people. They know what they're saying. Uh, Trump is evil and racist and sexist. Brett Kavanaugh is race. I don't know if they said he was racist. He was at least sexist and uh, what's the infidelis? Committing acts of infidelity? I don't know. Claims that Jack Posobiec or Mike Cernovich are alt-right. Paul Joseph Watson, as we take things from uh, Summit.News, Paul Joseph Watson is an alt-right troll with white supremacist tendencies, alt-right, far-right bigot. It's so normalized to say these terrible things about people that they disagree with. How can you expect people not to be like this? How can you expect them not to have the moral high ground in their mind? If everyone's saying it, it must be true. If you're not paying close attention to the media and to the news, and 600 out of 605 media stations are saying the same thing, and you're not going over it with a, with a comb to check to see if they're correct, you might believe it. So how can you not believe that you have a moral obligation to be against white supremacists and sexists and Nazis and everything? So in their mind, who cares if you tell a little lie? Who cares if you obfuscate the truth? Uh, the ends justify the means in that sense. And I think in the future, we will look back on a history where political operatives and media members are the ones pinpointed and pointed at as the people who tried to lead uh, Western society astray, tried to lead it down some sort of uh, communist socialist uh, revolution. And that would sound crazy. I've, I, I know I've said this uh, for years now, Liter literal years I've been saying that this is... This would have been crazy to say five years ago and before Trump was elected, before all of this, that the pathway that see, these people seem to be pointing towards is some sort of socialism or at very least uh, an elitist oligarchy uh, where everything the elite class does is untouchable and everything's, uh, everything's bad for you to do, like uh, eating meat and air conditioning and flying and driving gasoline-fueled cars, all of that's bad. So let's just make it super expensive so only the elite people can do it and push everybody else down. So who cares if you tell a little lie to justify uh, the means? Now, I think the people in the media and the... the I don't want to say collaborators, that sounds so evil. The political operatives combined with the media, I think they will be seen upon in the future as those who led us astray, those who misled us um, politically, uh, emotionally, logically. You can, you can go on and on. And there's already evidence for it, a lot. You can go from the Clinton emails to undercover CNN videos to mostly anything on MSNBC, really, if we're being honest. If you look for it, it's there. But I do not blame people, and neither should you, uh, for believing what they're told. People don't want to believe they're being lied to, just like I wouldn't lie to you, except for maybe this once.